Всем привет, my name is Vika, I'm very glad to see my channel and today is absolutely wonderful, sunny, warm day and I thought it's a perfect day to cook traditional Russian meal Akroshka a traditional summer type meal, we cook it only on summers and it's a very cold, fresh crunchy, a little bit sour meal that is very popular here in Russia and it is like a representance of summer for Russian people because we associate this meal um, with summer season a lot. So I'm going to cook it and I'll be glad if you join me. I have all the ingredients here. Uh, I will need some eggs uh, and potatoes that I'm going to boil, some cucumbers, uh, some radish, and quite a lot of greens. Uh, I have green onions here and uh, dill. I'm not sure if I'll use all the greens or not, but we'll see. And I actually think that proportions of the ingredients is not that important because people cook akroshka differently and most of people cook it with the amount of food they have. So it doesn't really matter that much. Um, also, like, with any traditional meal, there is that thing that everybody cooks it differently and there is not like an actual one recipe, so that's how I'm going to cook it. And quite an important ingredient is sausage. Here in Russia we have that type of sausage that is called doctor's kekalbasa, it's that big. Uh, usually people slice it uh, on sandwiches and things like that. It's a little bit similar to ham. Uh, because I'm not sure that this type of sausage is very popular abroad. Also, I think uh, you can use uh, irregular small size sausages like for hot dogs. I think they'll suit uh, this meal well enough because they are quite similar to this one. So basically in a kroshka we mix all of these ingredients together and then we add liquid to this sort of salad. <laughs> so the consistency of a kroshka is like a soup because it's a liquid and the cuts in like vegetables. Um, but it's not boiled, it's cold, so it's a little bit different and it has more like fresh taste. And there are several options how to cook a kroshka depending on the region because here in central Russia we cook it with one type of liquid uh, in uh, on the south uh, the other type is more popular first one is kvass uh, kvass is a traditional um, well I don't think it's only Russian I think it's uh, quite popular among different countries on the eastern bloc so uh, it's a drink. Then I have kefir here, uh, which is a dairy product, also popular among Eastern Bloc. And then I have just a carbonated water. I think for a lot of you uh, who live abroad and who live maybe in America or in Australia, in countries that are quite, quite far from here, uh, maybe the last recipe with the carbonated water will be the most easy one, uh, because not everywhere you can get kvass and kefir. And of course also a sour cream because I feel like almost everything is cooked with sour cream in Russia, so sour cream is very important. First of all I'm going to boil eggs and potatoes and then I'm going to cut everything in a sort of a salad. Here just smells like summer, especially with the peonies and all the greens and just the smell is like mm. <laughs> I've boiled potatoes, uh, they are very hot but we need them to be cool, so I'll leave them here to get colder uh, because the meal itself is cold and we need ingredients to be cold. And the same with eggs. Usually we don't eat them um, because I don't think it's very healthy, uh, but a kroshka without a sausage is not a kroshka, <laughs> so I had to buy it. This sausage looks like that, uh, except for the greens. <laughs> Uh, it has pretty solid pink color, so I think it's quite similar to hot dog sausages. You can make bigger cubes, but I think it tastes a little bit better with smaller ones. 
these things always taste good like they're not healthy but they taste good also I'm always snacking while I'm cooking and by the end of preparing a meal I don't want to eat anymore because I'm snacking all the time so write down if you do that too <laughs> Last uh, but not the least are eggs. And <laughs> she likes uh, snacking during meal prepping too. So she is the biggest snacker. so. <laughs> I'll be serving individually in each plate so I'll be able to keep the uh, uh, other amount in the fridge for longer so for the first serving we need uh, just a spoon of sour cream and stir it with everything in the plate and then add uh, a little bit of kvass uh, you can add an, any amount depending on your taste uh, how you want it to be like more liquid more salad part just put some greens on the top for uh, decorations for the second time we need to add a spoon of sour cream also and uh, just a little bit of kefir, approximately the same amount of squash uh, and also add some greens on top. You can also mix kefir with water uh, to have less strong taste of kefir and less thick consistency. And the last one, uh, it's not very common but I've seen some people doing that, uh, they add more sour cream and in Instead of uh, kvass and kefir, they add uh, just carbonated water. So sour cream gives them like milky taste, and the carbonated water gives this like gas carbonated sparkling <laughs> sour feeling. I would recommend to all of you who decide to cook it uh, to try a smaller amount the first time, especially with the liquid, because akroshka has a very specific taste, and I think not everybody may like it. But uh, the thick part you can always uh, eat like a salad, just add some mayonnaise and eat it like that. It's perfect to serve a kroshka with a fresh bread uh, and eat it with bread, it's just like a perfect combination. And I hope it was interesting for you to watch me cooking, uh, I hope it was interesting to learn about one new traditional Russian meal. Maybe you would cook it yourself or um, you would know what it is in Russian restaurants. I'll enjoy my meal right now and thank you all for watching, I hope to see you in the next video, bye bye! Mmm!